hey guys guess what today is closing day and i'm the most happiest woman today i want to give my children a surprise treat and above all there's this uh son of mine who normally celebrates his birthday during uh the third term of the year and all the time it happens that he is in school so i want to give him a surprise today and david's gonna eat let's wait and see I doubt. Sasa, Aki, you are not serious, Kabisa. By the way, do you mind cameras? No, I don't mind. Okay. <laughs> you are not serious. Mm -hmm. Do you know I've been calling you since Jana, Leo Asubui? My phone has had a problem. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm a factory reset. Okay. Yes. Sasa, you mm -hmm. make cake leo na nichukwe jioni? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sana. What? Me ni fungi ni me shiba ile mbaya sana. Me ni onje. Sana. Lakini na tujato ka empty handed. So this guys, this is my baker. His name is uh, Frank. He makes very nice cakes, and is located located in Gong. What do you call this place? This building? Coffee uh, house. Colic? Coney House. Coney House. Yes, sour, sour. So in case you need uh, birthday cakes, wedding, whatever sort of cake for whatever occasion, this is the place to be. Sure, sure. You can come have some tests. Uh, tell them taste. your Instagram uh, My name. Instagram uh, handle is Frankie's Cake House, Facebook, Twitter, all the same. Wow. Yes. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Okay. So guys, this is Irene Blesser. I'm just from my guy who bakes cakes for me. I wanted to surprise my son today, this evening, with a cake. He's been in school. And uh, most of his birthdays fall when he's at school. So I wanted to give him a surprise. But unfortunately, my baker won't be around. So I'll just go and get him a cake from a, a food store, any food store. Preferably, I love, I love my cakes from a Quick Mart. So I'll go get it from Quick Mart. So in the meantime, I'm going to get a few things for the, a small birthday surprise. So, Tuned in. I'm looking for the slaughterhouse. Uh, you know, I won't be permitted with the camera. So I'll just show you the slaughterhouse from afar. So this is Kisarian. If you know, you know. I'm going for meat or rather beef. Yeah, it's uh, affordable, uh, very affordable uh, in the slaughterhouse. So I chose to, to bite from the slaughterhouse. So guys, uh, this is the slaughterhouse area. I won't be allowed to use the camera. So I'll just leave it at here, but I'll definitely 
show you the rest of the video after we are done with this place. So here we are. This is it. Let me get ginger and garlic. Guys, this is a Kiserian market. I've come here to get a few groceries. I need some garlic and ginger. Yeah, it's too big. I can go and buy at Ngong Town. Can we just go, Amma? What is your exit in Nigeria? To touch okay, what? Oh, Sante. So here I am guys, I've come to buy a few things, some cereals, some veggies, green groceries, yeah then I head home. Mm. How much are the njugus, like half a kilo? No, I prefer the small ones. The small ones, that is 150. Na nini? Na popcorns? Uh, a kg is 240. 240. So, uh huh. I'm thinking I take half of the njugus uh -huh. and half of the uh, popcorns. Isn't njugu it waje? These are the kind of brown nuts, yeah. brown nuts that I love. Small. They are so sweet. Really, really sweet. So this is what I'm going to pick. Okay. So guys, here I am at the Quick Mart Ngong branch. Just come to pick some pastries over here. I'm looking for a cake. Actually, they do the best cakes. I love their cake so much. I hope I'll get something nice for a surprise birthday. So here we are just about to make a choice. Hi. Nozaji cakes. Kiasi size yani. Sukuju ni panyapa nini suggestions. Okay, guys, I'm trying to make a choice of what type of cake to take. It's for a boy and uh, he doesn't love uh, cream cakes. So I'm going to be as simple as possible. He's not a cream lover. Yeah, you'll see the selection once uh, we, we begin doing the birthday. So for now, I'll leave it closed. So guys, I've gotten what I wanted and I'm happy. Yeah. How are you? No, no, you are doing recovery. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have permission. Kindly oh. lie up with the reception. I have permission. For your permission from the reception? Yeah. Thank you. Bye to meet you. All right. So let me just go and pick a few things. Then I go prepare some yummy, delicious meals for the evening.
something that I'm looking for here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me see if I'll get it here. You can see how dirty I am I'm from the market. Looking for tissue paper. Uh, hey, the cost of uh, products have become so 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 high, so we must be price conscious here. Yeah, I'm looking for the most affordable, most affordable package here. And of course quality, not just cheap. I'm not just looking for a cheap stuff, but uh, quality wise, it has to be good. I want to save some coins. I save for something else. Now, I think I'll take this. Time to make my payment. So, guys, I finally got home and uh, I managed to buy my the kind of things that I was looking for. This is the chicken that I got uh, from Kisarian and the meat that I got from uh, the slaughterhouse and these are some of the spices that I want to add on my on what? that I want to marinate my my meat and chicken so guys hope you're going to wait uh, so as we see the end result of uh, everything and uh, yeah we get to eat together this delicious meal so guys, I hope you're enjoying this video just like I'm doing. Please remember to Guys, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet subscribed. Kindly leave a comment on the comment section. Let me do how you let me know how you marinate your beef and chicken. Let me also get some tips from you and also indicate where you're watching me from. My name is Irene Blesser. The party is still going on.
thing that I've added here. So let me wash my hands. I remember when we were being trained, uh, because I've been in the hotel industry, we were taught not to mix beef and uh, chicken, white meat and red meat. So there's something that we call cross-contamination that I'm really trying to avoid here. So the marination has to be on separate plates, dishes, and uh, the hands should be clean for every procedure done here. So cleanness here is key. Yeah? You know, it's very wrong when you make food and then uh, people start complaining of stomachache. Hmm? No one would ever trust you again with food. So it's important to maintain hygiene and cleanness. And that's what I'm doing. So I'll cover it. I'll cover the both. Beef and chicken and leave it to rest for some hours. So I'll take you through the next steps. Keep tuned in. Hey guys, uh, this is my peeled and washed potatoes. Uh, I want to do fries, but before then, this is what I normally do. I must pre-cook them, and I normally add garlic, salt, uh, curry powder, and uh, another spice of my choice. Like I do nor cubes. Then I mix up together and I do pre-cooking. Or is it called blanching? Blanching, pre-cooking. I remember we used to, to blanch, where I used to work. We used to call it blanching. But in this case, I'm pre-cooking. I'll pre-cook it for just a few minutes just for it to absorb the, the, the taste of the garlic or rather the mixture of all the spices. So I'll do it like, uh, I'll pre-cook for around five minutes, then I drain out the water. Then after the pot potatoes have cooled down, that is when I'll start now frying the potato chips. So just wait and see how. So guys, I'm making a mixture of my ingredients. This is the recipe. This is just a kawaida curry powder. I'm using curry powder. Uh -huh. Then this is the cube, Royco cube. But I mostly prefer, prefer I like using nor cubes. Those are my favorites. And mind you, I'm not advertising. I just love, I just love using uh, nor cubes. So we already had the we already had the garlic, ginger, salt in this in the potatoes. So now I'm just adding the the last recipe. Here it is. You see? Then I'll give it around five to seven minutes for it to uh, pre-cook. Then I'll remove it, slice it when it's cool, slice it. Then I take the next step, which is frying. So don't touch that dough. Wait for until the last step. Uh, show them the potatoes. So this is the end result after doing the steaming part of it. Now I'm slicing into sizes of potato chips. Yeah, then uh, yeah, next we'll be frying them. I'll be frying my chipos. We call them chipos here in Kenya. You know, rice. And fries, fries in America. Uh, oh, good, good, good job. This is good. Good job. Oh, finish. So, guys, this is these are the slices, the potato slices. Now, I wanna dip, fry them like 
right now so that uh, I finish cooking and we get to eat together. Some right. Guys, Bungaliani. This is what we are having. This is the end result. Now this is the beef and the chicken and the fries. Everything here is marinated. I'm telling you, five star. Five star stuff. Mm? This is how we roll. <laughs> this is how we roll. So kitu tumekosa hapa tu ni salad. Just the salad. Hiyo tu ndo tuna miss. So guys, I hope you're gonna enjoy this meal with us.